so put your thumb into the page and then we're gonna feel curls around in that clockwise section. So I'm gonna feel curls around a clockwise sense, right? Which means that at that point, it's going to be down. And its magnitude, the magnetic field generated by that current that's constant in a very long straight wire is mu naught times that current divided by two pi divided by this distance, right? So that would be mu naught over two pi times I, which is five amps, divided by the distance from here to there, which is two. Right, so this would be mu naught 2.5 over two pi, right? Down that way. Now you want the magnetic field here, the total magnetic field there to be zero. So that means that you must have at that point another magnetic field that points in the opposite direction, right? With the same magnitude as this, so that the net magnetic field due to both of them is zero, right? So now, what would have to be the direction of the current in this wire? Would the current have to be, this wire is like this, it's parallel to this one. So would the current in this one have to be into the page or does it have to be out of the board or page? Into the page. Well, we want the magnetic field to be like that, right? You know, the one in blue. So if you think of that circle like this, right, around it, I want my fingers to point up, generated by the current in this one, the current has to be into. So that side is up, and this side is down for this one. So this one has to have a, so this current has to be into the page. And the question is, how big will it have to be? Well, big enough so that its magnetic field cancels the other magnetic field. So this magnetic field will be mu naught times I2 divided by 2 pi R2. That's mu naught I2 divided by 2 pi. And the distance from here to there is one meter. And I want this magnetic field to cancel this. So this magnitude has to be equal to this magnitude. So they cancel out. So therefore, I can set mu naught I2 over 2 pi times 1, which is just that, equal to mu naught times 2.5 over 2 pi. Well, the mu naught and the mu naught cancel, the 2 pi's and the 2 pi's cancel, and I get that I2 is 2.5 amps. And into the page. Yes? For the other version, for the other version, I think this current was, uh, was it six? But then the point wasn't there, the point was here, right? Like one meter? So, uh, again, pointing down, same as that, except that this one was mu naught times six over 2 pi divided by 1. Is that right? Is that, am I remembering? Yeah. So this is mu naught times 6 divided by 2 pi. And uh, again, I want the magnetic field generated by the wire it's in this wire, by the current in that wire. I want it to be up so that it cancels this one, right? So now this distance is 2. So that would be, it would still be into the page. Mu naught. I2 over 2 pi, and then the distance from here there is 2. So you equate this magnitude 
to this magnitude. So for that version, you would have mu naught I2 over 2 pi times 2 equals, and then for that one, it's mu naught times 6 over 2 pi. So the mu naught cancel, the 2 pi's cancel. So I2, so you really didn't need a calculator. You did not need a calculator for this. Because the, the mu naughts cancel and the pi's cancel, so, and you know, 6 times 2 is 12, right? That was the other one. Yes? Is it okay? So one of the, so it's on the magnet, you know the, the first, of the first wire, why is, why is it a, a two pi r squared? 